so recently I've been doing a weight gain challenge with all my YouTubers this April and this is so that we can basically do it together for motivation and also get people to believe in the process however what it has done is bring back exercises that I stopped doing a long time ago for a specific reason. Um, those exercises basically worked on your gluteus medius and tensor fasciae latte muscles. However, I already had big tensor fasciae and gluteus medius muscles that created hip dips that I've now been trying, well, that I had been trying to correct over the time by doing other exercises outside of YouTube, basically. Um, the only problem is now because of the weight gain challenge I have to do them and now my actual hip dips have come back with a vengeance. So you can see from my um, before pictures before I started training those muscles and after I started training the muscles the big difference. My actual hip dips have now been emphasized. Um, so as a result we've decided to actually um, include a new workout that will help to balance out your physique if you're having the same issue I'm having personally. Hi guys, it's Chi and you're watching Zygostatics. Today we're going to be doing a hip dip workout. It's going to be 10 minutes and this workout is going to help you to reverse your hip dips and also to train your under butt so you can have more of a rounded butt. If you've been on Instagram or YouTube then I'm sure you've already found out what hip dips are. So this video we're just going to clarify a few more things that we haven't clarified in our other videos as well. So um, I'm sure you've already heard a lot of YouTubers explaining that um, or saying that or claiming that hip dips cannot be reversed and they can't be changed and they're only genetic. Well, we're here to give you a bit more of a scientific approach regarding this topic and also to help you understand when you can change them and when you can't change them. So what is the root cause of hip dips? The root cause of hip dips is really just your anatomy. Your femur bone and your pelvis is connected by a ball and socket joint and just by having this um, ball and socket joint here and the distance it can cause a hip dip. Also having fat and muscle around this place can also cause some issues. So there are a lot of factors that can emphasize the actual size of your hip dips. As hip dips differ case by case, I'm going to have to give you my own case study and I'll show you how my, how my hip dips have changed over the period of time when I was training, when I wasn't training and how it happened, how to reverse it. So back when I wasn't training, when I was still 115 pounds, I didn't really have hip dips or I didn't notice the severity of hip dips that I have now, basically. And um, Edward was my coach, he helped me to train and whilst we were training, I realised that my, um, my upper glutes, my gluteus medius, was really pronounced and when we realised this we had, to do, we had to draw back, do a little bit more scientific research and figure out what exercises to do to ensure that I could basically reverse the hip dip that I had created. <laughs> um, so we did this by researching and fi finding out that there are certain exercises that you need to stop doing after a certain point. So going through this process, we realized that just by me overtraining specific muscles, I was emphasizing my hip dips. This workout will help people who have the similar problem that I have, which is exercise induced hip dips. This is when I've overtrained my tensor fascia latte and my gluteus medius muscles. Um, here. So this workout is basically supposed to help you to reduce the imbalance that you have. So in order to fix this imbalance, I reverse engineered my problem. I stopped working my upper glute muscles and only concentrated on my lower glute muscles. What this did was it created more of a balance and helped me to um, have the A-shape uh, butt that I actually have um, instead of a V-shape. Yeah. It's that same vibe though. All my life I've been doing what I gotta do, no pressure. And I just can't let up. Things gon' get better All my life I've been doing what I gotta do No pressure I just can't let up Cause things gon' get better Things gon' get Yeah Live a life where things gon' get better I just can't let up Cause things gon' get Counting down for when things gon' get Hip abduction exercises really target your upper glute muscles and when you do those too many times all you can have is a unbalanced bum because your lower glutes are barely um, targeted when you do a lot of these exercises that are available um, on YouTube. 
So how do you tell if you have these type of hip dips? You can ask yourself four questions. One, do you train your hips or your side booty more once or more times a week? Two, do you use um, resistant bands or weights when you do these exercises? Number three, when you exercise, do you do hip thrusts, lateral leg raises or clams? And lastly, have you noticed that your hip dips have gotten worse as you've exercised over time? If this is you, then you probably have the same hip dips I have. So I'm going to be giving you guys a 10 minute intensive workout for your lower glutes. It's going to help you to develop a round booty. So we're going to be doing lots of powerful movements, so give it a go. And thank you guys so much for watching this 10 minute video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe and do share it. Peace. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. 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 Five, four, three, two, 
one, zero. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Five, four, three, two, one, zero.
Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Four, three, two, one, zero. 